We do remember Jesus' resurrection. For now seven weeks, we have celebrated Easter, the resurrection of Jesus. Death could not hold him. Jesus rose and he was alive and he walked on earth for 40 days. The people that knew Jesus saw Jesus was alive 40 days. Who? That God's Son was living. And then last week, we celebrated Jesus' ascension. And then 10 days later, today, we celebrate the promise of Jesus fulfilled. God sends to us. God sends to his church the Holy Spirit. Today, Pentecost, the sign is fun. Uh, the flames separated and all of the people had flames above their head. The three of us, <coughs> the, the twelve, had the flames above their head. <coughs> no, 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 no. All 120 <coughs> believers who were in that room all of the 120 believers had the flames above their head. And all of them began to speak in languages that they had not yet learned. <coughs> it would be nice if we had the ability to uh, sign without warning, right? It would be nice if we were fluent in ASL. Uh, without warning it. That would be nice. Uh, all of the hearing people who have been trying for many years to learn the sign language and still if your fingers fell, they can't understand you. Uh, those people would love to learn another language. Well, the 12 men the people who went out, <coughs> the people from all of the different countries. I wondered if your reading was the same, because uh, the names yeah, of all of the countries, I thought that you had spelled one of them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> would 
join us is now made full promise. His promise, the Holy Spirit, the, oh, it's good that we have a Greek person here. He, he has learned different languages. Those are hard. But uh, the Greek language, the word paraklepo means the beside me always person, beside me always God, who is with me every day, who is near me every moment. He is sent His Holy Spirit to us and given to us the understanding of His truth. His truth is that He has given to us the name Jesus. Given to us the name of his family, of his children. And we have the Holy Spirit in us. And he leads us every day. He inspires us and helps us to remember our Greek and he uh, helps us to remember in any language the story of his wonderful love through Jesus Christ. The cross is finished. The sin is gone. And given in place is Jesus' perfect life. He gives to us eternal life because Jesus had earned that eternal life, he gives it to us for free. The free gift of eternal life. How will they know? How can one old, bald, fat, blind man tell all of the people who are deaf about Jesus? One blind, bald, fat man cannot tell them all. If the deaf people, if God is going to inform them, it will be through uh, yeah, the people who have God's Holy Spirit. When did God's Holy Spirit come? Almost 2,000 years ago, right? Yeah. 2,000 years ago, God sent His Holy Spirit the birthday of the church. 2,000 years ago. When did the Holy Spirit come into your life? 2,000 years ago? I'm old. I am old. But not 2,000. Okay? Jesus sent his Holy Spirit into my life uh, December 14, 1955. Is that right? Cool. Uh, about 57 years ago, I was born.
because of the seminary? Not only because of the seminary, because of God's Holy Spirit making my heart, making my mind filled with His Holy Spirit. He gives to me His words, the Bible. He gives to me the ability to know Jesus as my Savior. That can happen when we were six weeks old. My daughter sends me uh, movies of her baby every day. It is wonderful the technology that we have. Uh, the video today of uh, our worship will be sent out to all of the deaf people who want technologically to be connected to the church. Uh, wonderful what technology can do. Um, how many deaf people here? We have, what, 15? Well, three or four of us are hearing. Five, uh, six. Some of us uh, are not deaf. But, how many deaf people are watching? Through technology? Through the computers? How many of them will know that Jesus is my Savior? How many of them will see your witness? When I go to preach at hearing churches, I tell them after the sermon, I tell them, stand, and we will practice together telling our friends what we believe. And then KC always laughs at me because we do the Apostles' Creed before the sermon. Right? I always forget because the hearing church will do that after the sermon. And the deaf church, we do that before the sermon. So, uh, but the hearing churches, I tell them, let's practice telling our friends what we believe. And it starts, the Apostles' Creed starts, I believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty. What did he do? He made all of this. What we can see, all of this. What we cannot see, he made it all. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son. Could you tell your friend? Could you tell deaf people? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son. My Lord died and rose again for me. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit that has already come to me. I am now, if I am talking with my friends, if I am talking with my family, what am I doing? It's like my uh, sign and voice at the same time now. They can understand me. Even though they don't know sign language, they can understand me because of my voice and my sign language, you can understand me also. But when I'm talking with my friends, I am at the same time, I am praying hard in my heart. I am praying, Holy Spirit, give me words. Give me what is right to say. And then I am praying, Holy Spirit, fill their heart so that they can understand me. Because I can't do it myself. I am not easy to understand. <laughs> <laughs> but my friends can understand. My family can understand. If they are hearing, if they are deaf, they can understand with the power. 
power of God's Holy Spirit in them. His Holy Spirit can fill their life, and maybe they won't have a, a flame above their head, but His Holy Spirit will already be in them. And then they will understand that Jesus forgives them, that Jesus loves them, that Jesus gave them a free gift, eternal life. They will understand with the Holy Spirit speaking to them through me. I'm not the only one. I am an old, blind, bald, fat man who cannot change the world. But you can. You can go to your deaf friends. You can go to your deaf family. You can inform them. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want it. I want you deaf people to go with me. To go with Jesus to heaven. That is our goal. Our goal is not to raise money. Sorry. I can't help a lot. <laughs> the bird, I should tell them it is to raise money, right? No. Clap, clap, you know. Church is not going to succeed without without money. But our goal is not the money. Our goal is that all of the deaf people would know Jesus Christ through the power of His Holy Spirit working in them, the deaf people of Oman, that His Holy Spirit would fill them and they would come here to go with us to heaven. Not that they would come here so that they can give money, but that would happen too, I think. Uh, but more importantly, they would come here to go with us, to go with Jesus to heaven. 